Hey Virgo Collective, what's up y'all? I hope you all are doing amazing. What is their karma for hurting you? That's today's reading. What is or what will be their karma for hurting you? It looks like they're already getting it. For some of you, somebody is sinking deeper into their addiction. Okay, this could be a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini person. They also are obsessed with watching you. This person is infatuated with you. They cannot stop looking at you. And it looks like look at you, looking at you level up. There's something about you leveling up. There's something about you doing it real big. Yeah, they feel like you're doing something really, really big. They feel really small in comparison. Uh, they feel like your money looks good. Some of you have come into some money. This person feels like you're rejecting them. A Cancer, a Libra. You could be on a Leo Virgo cusp or you could have Libra in your big uh, three. Sun, Moon, Rising. You could also have a, a Leo Venus for some of you. Wow. Your channel messages are facing a fear without i'm sorry facing a fear with confidence which is why you have the king of wands here four of cups four of swords king of wands is your energy showing up as rejecting no longer interested in taking a chill pill maybe being single and enjoying just making your money focused on your business you're motivated and this person is anxious could be a gemini somebody is really anxious about you they think about you non-stop they want to speak to you but maybe some of you haven't spoken in months or weeks to this person Somebody is watching you level up. Somebody has unexpected money coming in. They can notice about you. What's that karma for hurting you? We have thief and entitled. Ooh, okay. So you have an entitled thief. Somebody could have stolen from them. It says lives a privileged life and treats everyone like shit. Okay. Hmm. Somebody could have stolen from them. Somebody smoked cigarettes here. They could have come into a connection with someone who is stealing from them and treats them like crap. We have carnival, playful children, and we have fed up. This person is fed up with their children. Something about their children could be exhausting them. Okay, especially if it's a masculine. This person could like to wear hats. There's something frustrating them about their children or maybe not being able to do things with their children. We have confusion and disoriented. The zombie maze. Mm, this person is disoriented. Yeah, they're in the four of swords, which is they need to lay down. This is the calm after the storm, but they can't get calm. That's the thing. There's something here. Protection and cover. This person could have tried to do like a confusion spell on you. Chaos, magic, something like that, but you're protected, so it didn't work. And when you do a spell and it doesn't work, it has no choice but to return to sender. So there was a return to sender. Yeah, they're frustrated. They're fed up. They're frustrated. Tired up your SHIT. Stressed out, overloaded, and burnt out. They're tired of whomever they're dealing with yeah, and their family feeling not good enough. For some of them, it's just their, their relatives don't even like them. <laughs> They don't live up to their family standards. They could be the loser in their family. We have unexpected event. They're going through a tower moment. Could be a Scorpio and Aries person. We have a feminine energy and burning passion. Somebody could have burned them. That's literally what I just got when I heard that. A Taurus, a Libra, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They got some unexpected news when they had sex with someone. Um... It says unexpected shocking events have shaken things up after a burn up I'm about to say a burning night of passion. <laughs> a passionate night that they had with someone, a feminine energy they got more than they bargained for. Oh well. We have a businessman here, a boss will take care of you only once one woman and attracted to you towards Virgo Capricorn energy. And then we have masculine energy. So you definitely have a divine masculine showing up here. It could be an Aries, a Taurus. Or somebody on the cusp. So they seem you be taken care of by somebody who wants to be just with one person. And you got the four of swords coming out again. And you got the ten of wands. Somebody could be in the hospital. They can have somebody sick in the hospital right now. Or they could be recovering from some kind of ailment. Or trying to. A Sagittarius or a Libra for some of you. Or somebody in their family could be sick in the hospital right now. We have a succubus, a dark feminine energy, and user. I told you somebody could have gotten pregnant by them intentionally. This is the Empress. You got the feminine energy and the masculine energy. Your masculine is divine. Theirs is toxic. Theirs is uh, distorted. So you have abundance, 
you have achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment here. And then we have dark feminine energy. Some, I mean, some of you could be even tapping into your dark feminine energy. Dark feminine energy is not bad. It doesn't have to be. Some of you have turned to your dark feminine energy because you were dealing with a devil, a Capricorn person or somebody that was into something dark here. This person is crying a lot over you, Virgo. I'm crying a lot. It could be, a, we got the five of cups and that's definitely grief, sorrow, sadness. So some of you could have tapped into your own dark feminine energy to manifest a happy ending for yourself. Okay, so that could be their karma. Okay, so we have compelled, twin flames and bound. And we have spiritual thief, steals from readers, spiritual people, and creates fake accounts. Okay, and then we have goodie bag, physical gift and gift exchange. Some of you have like a relationship coming in with somebody that's a twin flame. Um, could be an Aries, could be a Taurus. They could definitely be on the cusp of Aries, Taurus, or one of those signs. What's the spiritual thief? Uh, lasting promise, commitment. This connection will stand the test of time. They connected themselves to some kind of um, succubus. They could have married this person. Yeah, eyeballs are watching and stalking you. And then we have falling leaves. They're watching you this fall. Time changes everything. They could have married someone else, got somebody else pregnant. They did something here. And now they're frustrated in another situation. They could be with somebody who's a, a fake spiritualist, a fake reader, something like that. Maybe some of you are readers and somebody steals from you. Somebody's having a nervous breakdown, can't cope. Or they have financial stress. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Taurus. And then we have unexpected guests, ghosts person is being haunted and then we have replacing hooking up with other people yeah they did and then bottom of the deck we have got served karma libra energy you got a karmic friend showing up you got poetic justice you got karma on the table twice you got the scales of justice here twice some of you have a karmic friend that you've been friends with since you were a child and i mean this person could be incarcerated or something you need to watch out for them Spirit wants you to focus on new beginnings, create a vision board for yourself. Some of you definitely are readers, psychics, intuitives, things like that. Um, or that could be a career you're starting, your spiritual journey, your spiritual path, your spiritual business. Yep, your parting ways. Somebody could be a party planner, party promoter. And you're leaving behind a man child. You have karmic family members showing up here as well. This could be a younger brother, nephew, cousin, something. A man in your family that's that acts like a child. Okay. Well, that's what I'm seeing for you all. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.